So the first bracket of Yusuke in Okinawa has ended with the Matsubai Shiryu、um, episodes, and I'm going to be talking about three points in general of my overall impression and what I thought about throughout my visit in、uh, Shinzo Sensei's dojo.、Uh, the three points are about Stat Sensei,、uh, number two is about the dojo itself, and number three is about the the skills and the about the you know the style itself. What I found fascinating about. So the first point about the sensei, Shinzato sensei. I think you guys saw from my videos, but he was a man of integrity. So what happened was,、um, this was actually our first dojo visit in Okinawa. So we arrived at the airport at around I think 7 a.m. We rented a car and then we ate some Okinawa soba. I mean, I'm sure I'm putting the video out right now, which was delicious. And then we prepared ourselves and we went to the dojo. It was a, I think, like a 30-minute drive away from、uh, Naha Naha Airport. And so we were kind of nervous. It was our first visit. I was reading through my script. Okay, what questions am I gonna ask? What I'm gonna be talking about him? And we visited the dojo. We opened the door, and he was like, "Oh, welcome." I thought you guys weren't gonna come because we didn't call him beforehand. But yeah, I mean, he was very welcoming. But what I had in my mind was I was the interviewer and he was the interviewee.、Um, so it was more for me. The main purpose was all yes, of course, to train. But the second half of me was to make great videos. It was for content creation purposes. So I went up to him, and before we, you know, after we did、um, like a business card, you know, exchange and, and introducing ourselves.、Um, I went straight into explaining what I like to shoot for that day, and if there were any rules in the dojo that I should be aware of. But、uh, for him, he was like, "No, no, no! Let's just wait and let's sit down and let's talk a little bit. Let's chat a little bit." So for him, it was more of new, you know,、um, seeing a new person and making new friends. That's what it was for him. And so there, that just clicked my mind, and I thought, okay, I have to change this whole mindset. I was going there of more of like a slightly like a business, you know, kind of approach, but for him, it was more of you know human to human that relationship、um, kind of thing. So we started talking. He started asking me questions about why I started karate, what I like about karate, and he even gave me this this towel right here. This is, I think, their 20-year、um, anniversary towel for their organization, and yeah, he was just very nice. And what I found just fascinating was that I think for him, karate is something that's so, I guess, so woven into his normal life that it's not something he tries. It's just like breathing. He just. Does karate, and there's nothing like challenging about it. For me, still, when I practice here or when I go to the dojo, I still have to make this mindset that okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna concentrate within the next few hours. I'm gonna try my best. But for him, it's nothing like that. He just casually goes to the dojo. He just casually practices, and that's life for him. So a newcomer coming into the dojo, there's nothing I guess special about it. He just, you know, has a new person in the dojo, gets to know him like a friend, and that's what he was looking for. So that way of thinking, that approach to karate, kind of changed my perspective perception of karate as well. I, you know, like I mentioned, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna train today, or I'm gonna make a great video today, something like that. But now it's more of karate is not that special for me anymore, if that makes sense. It's so, I guess, naturally, like woven into my daily life now that I, I don't, especially try hard to think about karate because I'm always, like, thinking about it, and there's nothing stressful about it anymore. Seeing a role model like that in Okinawa, so that was something just amazing for Shinzo Sensei. And I'm sorry if this message isn't getting delivered to you. Maybe it's my English, but if you understand what I was saying, please、uh, write that in the comment section below so I feel confident with this video.、Um, the second point was about the dojo. Yes, yes, yes. So in, you know, around the Tokyo area, a lot of the dojos,、um, it's in the city. So when you open the window, you you hear cars. And maybe if you're practicing at school, you hear the kids 
you know, of other sport clubs practicing outside. But in Okinawa, I think somebody mentioned in the comment section too, but you hear birds <laughs> and the rain too. So, and I think during the Matsubayashi Ryu, that whole session itself, it was sunny at first. No, it, was, it might have been cloudy. And in the first few episodes, I think you heard the, the wind. And I, I, cut, I cut those parts, but um, you hear the, the, the helicopter sound too. But then um, in the second half of the video, I think it was around when I was doing Naihanji and uh, Pasai, it was raining, I believe. So I think you heard the rain, oh, so it's all, it's all nature. And then you heard the birds like, you know, chirping in the air. So that was something that's only in Okinawa. And if you have visited there before, I think you get the atmosphere of, okay, I'm now in Okinawa, I hear the birds and it's just beautiful here. So, you know, practicing in that environment um, just made me feel very peaceful. And it was just a, just a calming, nice experience overall. And of course, about the, the style itself, Matsubai Shiryu, I think there were mainly two things that especially um, struck me. The first point was Maigiri, how you turn your um, hips to that Maigiri. And in Shotokan, like the Kata of Jion, um, you don't turn the hips, right? You keep the hips facing forward and you use the momentum of your um, supporting leg being pushed out and your knees extending. That's what gives it the power. But um, in Matsubai Shiryu, or maybe that was uh, Shinzato Sensei's twist to it, but they rotated the wrist, I mean the, the hips. So, and the timing of when they rotate the hip was after they get the knee up. So up to the knee part, it's straight, your hips are straight, and then when they extend the leg, he rotated the hips. I tried this in my online group lesson and everybody seemed to love it. So if you, you know, if you have some time or, I mean, you can just get up of the chair right now and give it a try. If you're lying on your bed, just get up and give it a try. You will feel the differences. It's a lot more dynamic and powerful. So you need some time to get used to it, but it's still something I think you can utilize in your practices. So that was the first point, kicking, maigeri front kick with your hips turned. And the second point uh, was in Passai, the kata called Passai, I uploaded the video yesterday. Um, after the block, this strike, uh, you use this part, this bone right here, to strike the opponent's chin, this movement. Um, in Shotokan, we have um, attacks using this part, such as, again, in Jihong, there's this block, you know, this. This is using the same bone, however, uh, we move it like this to the side. This, something like this, you know, with the open hand as well, was something that I encountered for the first time, so it was something new for me. And yeah, I have to get used to this. I, I still have to do a lot of practices in order to perfect that kata. So that was very interesting as well. And I guess, yeah, those three points, sensei, um, dojo, and the style itself. But I mean, I mentioned three, but um, the most um, I guess memorable moment was with Shinzato Sensei meeting him and he was like you can come over anytime next time I mean next time you visit Okinawa um, just call me we'll, go, we'll get some Okinawa soba together I'll take you to my favorite beach and we will we'll practice together so that was you know he's has he has such a welcoming uh, personality so I hope you guys felt that through my videos and please look forward to my next um, video, which is going to be on Shorin Ryu. And the senseis there were <laughs> just as great. So it's like, yes, through my series, you will you know, be seeing new um, sides of karate. But then the, another um, aspect of my videos is new, meeting new senseis, meeting new masters. So I hope you guys can look forward to that. Um, subscribe to my channel and join me on my online group lesson as well if you like to you know meet people like us so i'll see you guys in the next video